welcome to our digital connectivity video on Ethernet IP. Ethernet IP is also a widely used uh, network protocol and these days more and more it's being taken to the field. When it's taken to the field, uh, we tend to use uh, devices like uh, that are capable of running a device level ring or a DLR, which is a redundant protocol uh, which can hook up to multiple devices out in the field. So with a device level ring, you loop in and out of each device and you come back and you close that ring at the other end. What it gives you the ability to do is have a break in the network, which I'll simulate here by disconnecting uh, the unit and everything stays green and everything stays operational. And of course, uh, it is reported as a error uh, so that uh, in that, if you're, you're alerted of that break and you can go and repair it. And of plugging it back in again, it immediately corrects itself and goes back to uh, full run mode. So in this uh, ring and with Ethernet in the field, there's three different ways that we can connect to uh, devices in the field. And that is via um, direct connection, which we've demonstrated here by connecting this modulating uh, butterfly valve directly to the uh, Ethernet IP. Uh, alternatively, we can go through IO blocks. Uh, we have a couple of examples here. One is a pneumatic uh, block manifold, and the other one is the integration that Burkett has with Rockwell and their point IO system. This integration is uh, around 15 years old and it's still quite current. What it gives you is the capability to have a complete IO cluster in, our, um, uh, in, a, in a remote field situation. In other words, not just having a valve bank where you can have some pneumatic outputs, but by actually having a mixture of analogs, digitals, maybe some high speed counters, temperature sensors, whatever you wish, as well as valve outputs as well. And they can all sit in a simple cluster that can be put into the field. Just like uh, other systems, you'll notice that the Rockwell system is a hot swap capable. In other words, you can pull out uh, the electronics and you do get an alert and of course by replacing the electronics it will automatically heal and go back into full run mode. We've done exactly the same with the Burkett valves. We have the option of having a full hot swap capability to swap out valves under full operational so full air and full electrical uh, connection. And of course you can replace the valve and get back up and running in a very quick period of time. We do this as Burkett is designed uh, to run in a process automation industry. And in process automation you have things like fermenters and distillation, etc. You can't turn those processes off. So, the third way to connect uh, with uh, the network in the field is to go via a gateway. And there are several examples of this, of course, using uh, this gateway example here is using the Burkett EDIP uh, platform, or of course you could use IO-Link or ASI bus, uh, any of those as well, which we will demonstrate in other videos. Just to give you an example here of the uh, EDIP platform, we have our modulating control valve uh, EVA, which is operating in the field there. We can come straight to that device here, and we can type in a set point, let's just say 50% and hit enter. And you'll see the valve will operate directly to 50% and our feedback says it's exactly at 50%, which you can also see on the trend here on the display. If I put that back now to 25%, you'll see that move straight back down to 25. Ethernet IP is used in a wide range of industries from heavy industrial mining right through to food and beverage and others. And uh, you'll see the Burkett has a range of products that go throughout all of those uh, applications which include the IO blocks, valves for on off, modulating, um, mass flow meters, mass flow controllers, uh, electric modulating valves and of course our gateways available on for this as well as uh, ASI and uh, IO-Link. So there's many ways to connect to it. And there you have it, an overview of Ethernet IP capabilities.